an ancient room. chair that's about a meter in front of me. Yes, perfect. I hope that's comfortable for you. Good. I know I'm not your primary physician, but I am a specialist here at Dream City Clinic. I welcome you this evening. Yes. I am Dr. Pluto. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yes. We hope to make this experience for you comfortable and to find out the problem of your health concerns. Mm hmm. Yes. <laughs> now, dear, just to quickly check you in, have you been seen by a nurse prior or were you sent? Just to some preliminary questions for you, okay? Good. So, very quickly, could I get you to just tell me your first name? recently opened a door the wrong way and hit my head, so nothing is too embarrassing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Have you been waking up on time or falling asleep and staying asleep for the allotted time you need to? No. Okay, so sleep is a stress point on the mind. It can actually cause a lot of damage if you don't sleep. Yes. I know it's difficult, especially with being so stressed with what's happening nowadays and 
homework, but it's necessary. How has your health overall been? Just going to look around, just tell me whatever you feel is necessary. Mm hmm. So, everything appears to be in order. Could you just show me your hands like this first? Okay, and can you flip them around like that? Okay. Can you, um, Squeeze your hands for me like this. Perfect. Now with your feet, are you able to just flex your ankles like so? And if you're able to remove your shoes, can you just quickly wiggle your toes? reason I ask is because sometimes when you're experiencing problems with your eyes and your head, it can actually lead to ligaments not being able to move properly. Yes. Okay. As procedure, we're going to begin with uh, taking your heartbeat, okay? Yes. It's a bit cold. Just going to take your heartbeat and then your temperature, okay? Good. Have you been breathing normal? Okay. Any coughing or signs of fever? this on your chest, is that okay? Good. Very carefully, I'm going to place that right there on the chest. What I want you to do is just simply breathe in and breathe out, okay? Good. No stress. sign. Are you feeling okay? Are you in pain anywhere? Is your eyes at all? Okay. And are you currently experiencing double vision, blurry vision, nausea? Okay. A little bit. Okay, I'll be sure to be very careful not to put too much pressure on your skin. So, right here on the side. Breathe in for me. And breathe out. Very good. Breathe in. And breathe out. Just going to test your back. Do you pardon my reach? And breathe in. And breathe out. Okay. in your heartbeat, but that could also be because you're experiencing a bit of dizziness at the moment, correct? Yes, double vision is not a joke. I experience it from time to time. And especially because I've had trauma to the head, 
Um, it will pop up from here and there, not the best, especially not in combination with vertigo. Kind of grab your temperature. So, as well, what we're going to do today is a very detailed amount of exams. It's going to include lots of eye tests and actually a lot of hearing tests because your equilibrium could be off. It's particularly due to the fact that. and vertigo, especially mixed with a bit of tunnel vision and, as you stated prior, some headaches that are all in the same area, which would be in the cranial nerves. And we're going to see what exactly could cause it to make you feel a bit worse, or perhaps not change a single thing. So quickly going to take your temperature, and have you had a fever in the last 48 hours? What about the past two weeks? Okay. So just going to quickly take your temperature. I'm just going to put this right under the tongue, as so. So just open your mouth enough so I can put this under your tongue. Perfect. And I push the button, just like so. And now I wait just a little bit to make sure that taking any other medications that are not on the list of ones that we prior have, or have you introduced any new vitamins into your life, or supplements? Mm -hmm. okay. Have you recently changed your diet? This can actually be a very strong cause of association with the mind, as sometimes an entire diet change um, can actually affect the brain. Good. And how about sports activities? Increased, decreased, it's the same. Now as for your sleep schedule, I know you said it's a bit off, understandable due to stress. How much off would you say it is? Are you very fatigued during the day? And would you say that you need more sleep or less sleep to, in your opinion, feel the best? We will solve this, I trust. So, what I'm going to do next is something called a neck turn test. What it is, I'm going to place my hands just carefully right here on your face. I'm just going to ask you to allow me to just move your head back and forth. And I want you to let me know if this causes any problems, okay? Yes, so just a little bit, we're going to move. So, I'm just going to move your head a bit. Is this causing any double vision at all? Okay, and what about now? And slowly turning your neck back. Anything? Good. Back to stationary. Look at my eyes. I'm going to look about wavering of the eyes and all irregularities of pupil dilation. Okay. How are you feeling? Are you feeling a bit sick? Well, I'll do this next turn a bit slower. Right here, that causes the most problems. And very quick to test your double vision. 
position. How many fingers am I holding up? What about now? What about now? And now? And one more. Seems your eyes are defocusing properly. Probably, so I'm just going to tap this back to normal. How are you feeling right now? A bit. What we're going to do is, we need to test this more. I'm going to bring out a light, a torch, and I would like you to just, to the best of your abilities, continue to look at me because if you look at the torch right away, it might make your eyes a bit fuzzy. So, what I have here is an otoscope. It's actually used as well. Which people take a look at. But it's a very good way for me to test your eyes, but only in one direction. So, a little bit less of a problem on the eyes. Just keep looking at my eyes, please. Just going to shine this into your eyes just to see how they react. Okay, and it's off, and it's back. your eyes for me and open them and are you able to see a dot of light in the center of your eyes yes okay so we call those traces and this is a clear sign that your eyes are very sensitive right now at the moment okay, so I'm going to ask you to keep working with me while I examine your eyes okay on to the other one keep looking at my eyes on right into your eyes. Okay, and off. And on. And off. And on. And off. Good. Close your eyes again and open them. Are you seeing the traces as we saw from Brian? is I'm going to check each eye out and it might be a bit uncomfortable especially knowing that your eyes are very sensitive okay so I'm just going to get a bit closer I do apologize but I'm going to take this light and I'm going to shine it particularly into your eye okay I know it's a bit irritating as <laughs> shining a light in anybody's eye would but I just hope you can just work for me with this let's look at my eyes and my nose
looking at my nose. Your eyes are wavering again, and that is a very clear sign that your brain might be in a bit of distress. Have you recently slept on your neck weird? <laughs> Sounds like a silly question to ask you, but it's quite serious. Mm -hmm. And has that been mixed with a lot of uh, stresses from the day, hard time at work, or lack of work? Perhaps not the nicest news to hear recently, or perhaps you've just been feeling a bit unwell or down. Okay. Hmm. And what else? for you. Everything will be okay. I'm not here to judge you, and I'm not here to question anything. I just want to know how you feel and what I can do to make you feel better. Okay. So, what I want you to do now is to just relax a bit. I'm going to grab one glass. And we're going to use this to pull down the eye and to do some eye exams, okay? So, this is a bit of the difficult part. So I have a glove on and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull on the eye. And I want you to look into my eye until I ask you to look right at the light, at the torch, okay? Good. So, I'm just going to grab the eye, like so. Use a torch right there and take a look. Keep looking at my eyes. Focusing it right on this eye and this light. I'm just looking at my finger at the moment. <laughs> I want you to look at the torch, look at the light. Very good. Keep your eye on the light. Good. Okay. Look away. Now, look back at me. Look at my hand. How many fingers am I holding up? One. Two. Good. Okay. Okay. So, the delay in vision is causing quite a bit of strain to your eyes. Um, your ability to notice fingers was a bit delayed and I think that's because you are working through the double vision, correct? Are you experiencing any migraines or vertigo at the moment? Okay, and how does that feel? Are you feeling okay? A bit unwell, but focusing as much on me, which is perfect. So, seems to be um, uh, up close vision that is bothering you. So, now I'm going to take a look at the, uh, the eye. I'm just going to just pull on the eye a bit. I'm going to shine my light. Just look at the torch, look at the light. Look back at me. Look at the torch. actually get a different type of light. It's a bit of a brighter light. And it's truly the pen light. I only use this when I need to focus on a particular 
situation which is going to be movement around your eyes it may be a bit difficult but just work with me here I'm going to shine this like so I'm going to pull on your eye I'm going to ask it to look different directions okay Good. so just take a look at your eye here could you look up for me good only with this eye the other one you can close up to whatever you like keep it open and then look down right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what I'm going to do now is a visual field test. We're going to check the parameters of your eyes, okay? And first what I want you to do is just to play a little game with me. I'm going to do this again to test for double vision or blurry vision and also reaction speed. Tell me how many numbers I lift up with each side, okay? Focus on me. And I want you to look at these with your peripherals. So, look at me with your eyes, but your peripheral vision will gauge the numbers. Good. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to distract this eye. Okay. Look at me. Peripheral eyes, my number is that. How many digits am I holding up? Do you see your 
eyes are experiencing a bit of fluctuation with the vision. It's okay. Let's test the other. So, I'm just going to hold a fist right there, just to block the eye. Look at me and only use your peripherals. Looks like once again the other eye is overworking a bit. That's okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply some eye drops. What this will do, it's actually going to numb the eye. And what I think this is going to do is cause your eye to stop fluctuating so much. As your eye appears to be moving in so many different ways. This can be caused by many things, such as trauma, bad sleep, disconnection with the optic nerves, etc. So, it's also going to help me perform the rest of the eye exams and eye tests. So, as we've tested your optic nerve, it appears to be working irregularly, as well as four of the other nerves related to the cranium's attachment to the eye, and the area around the eye, which appears to be oversensitive to light. Yes. So, just going to quickly grab this and I'm just going to just drop a couple drops in. Here we go. One, two, and three. If you could please just blink. concentration test and to see if the color red uh, has a tough time traveling through your eyes. Now, are you partial to color? Do you have a color deficiency or are you someone who is color blind? Okay. So, what I want to know is if the shade is different if I place it different parts around your face. So, example would be if I see that is as clear as day, this shade over here, and I move it to this direction on the eyes, does the shade change? So, you let me know if it changes at all. As I put this in different peripherals around the eyes, okay, so, first analyze the color and the shade here, good. Now I'm going to move it around the peripherals, and you let me know what color it is and how it changes, if it does change. So, let's begin. Any change? Okay. Any change? Okay. Any change? Okay. How about here? And here. So, what I'm seeing is that your eyes are fluctuating more. As I go to the boundaries of uh, your eye, testing again with the color red, is the same thing being experienced with this shade of red. Yes, okay, so 
your eyes are the problem is that your eyes are overworking if they're not at the center which is a very clear sign that your eyes are very stressed and there's something going on with a cranial nerve that has to do with um, the overworking of the eyes and I've actually had this happen to me before <laughs> I used to do very heavy sports and what would happen is if I accidentally bumped my head or hit my head it would affect my eyes and my vision so much so that from time to time I would have very different types of uh, eye problems such as very strong sensitivity to light and um, overworking of the eyes which I can clearly see is the case here so what I'm going to do is now push your eyes to the limit with something called a follow the light exam okay what that is is I'm going to bring the torch back up and I'm just going to ask you to follow the pen light to the best of your ability okay and do not move your neck while you do so only follow the light with your eyes so for example if I'm tracing the light back and forth I'm only following it with my eyes so let's see if I can get the light to work the silly thing sometimes doesn't want to so just going to ask you to follow the light there we go Having problems? Okay. okay. Here we go again. So you are you've also said you've experienced blurry vision, which is overworking of the eyes or underworking of the eyes, which can cause both. It also appears that at the boundaries of your eyes, similar to tunnel vision, you're experiencing the most of the uh, problems. So, okay. okay. Going to now do this a bit at a faster pace. Just the signs of your eyes now. Follow it to the best of your abilities, okay? Good. Alive. I'm going to bring the light up close now. So here we go.
eyes are having a easier time focusing to the center and that also goes with the shades of colors that you see where your eyes are focusing to the outer parts without moving your neck such as in this direction or in this direction I see that your eyes are moving quite rapidly and it's just to the peripherals that I'm experiencing quite a bit of difficulty getting your eyes to focus and as you said coming in that that was the problem I am confirming that that is the issue here now what I'm going to do is something called a peripheral check and as we did one prior this one's a bit different what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hands just right here to the sides of your peripherals I'm going to put a bit of pressure here what I want you to let me know is if the pressure that I apply is affecting the center of vision so if it's causing any sort of vision problems, blurriness, tunnel vision, vertigo, fatigue anything that would affect the center vision so I'm going to grab right here to the sides of your eyes and put pressure so three, two, one is it causing any problem? okay, once more three, two, one How are you feeling? A bit dizzy. It's normal. That's what happens. Uh, especially when your eyes have experienced trauma now. You actually don't need to have even hit your head hard to experience trauma in the eye. It can quite literally be a retinal detachment. And to make sure that it is or is not, I'm going to pull a magnifying glass and take a look deep into your eye. So going to take this top of the otoscope, grab a light and look deeper. This actually doubles in magnification when I take the, um, the little bit for the ear off, so I'm just going to take a look very quickly to see if I can identify a retinal detachment. And it can happen on both eyes, it's actually quite common. So just taking a look here, see? you could just try your best to just not move much. I'm going to assess my best to take a look into your eye and I am noticing that the eye actually and quite indeed does have something wrong back there. Okay. That's confirmed. On to the other eye. you can cause tears on the eye and in the eye so I'm going to let you know now that you may not even remember if you've done that but anything that is close to the eye needs to be treated with care and the utmost care at that so what I'm going to do is I think I know what the problem is to be quite honest with you as it's actually happened to me as well before with a contact so I'm just going to write that I'm going to send you to an eye specialist after, but just to make sure it's not just that, we're going to test your other parts of um, your cranial nerve. The first one is muscular, so I'm going to 
going to ask you to do some silly faces for me, okay? Good. So, first, I'm going to place my hand right here in the center of your nose. I'm going to ask you to try and just give me a very frowny, frowny flex of your eyebrows, okay? I'm going to put my fingers right there and give me a very strange, peculiar frown, okay? Three, two, one, and hold the position. Frown, furrow your brows like so. Good. Furrow your brows and release. Now furrow your brows and I'm going to attempt to push that up. Resist me pushing it up. So furrow your brows. Good. Resist me pushing that up. Good. Okay. Now I'm going to put my hand right here on the cheek. This one. I want you to try and, to the best of your ability, Squeeze the eye as tight as possible. So, I'm going to start with this one and squeeze the eye as tight as possible. Three, two, one. Good. And release. And once more. Good. I'm going to test the other one and just do the same. Just try and squeeze the eye as tight as possible. Okay. Three, two, one. Squeeze. Very good. And release. And once more. Squeeze. Now, I'm going to put my hand right here underneath the nose, and I'm going to ask you to try and furrow your nose like so, okay? And I want you to try and push the upper lip up while you do so. Okay, three, two, one. Push it up. Very good. And release, and then furrow the nose like so, and release. Very good. Now, I'm going to ask you, I'm going to put my hands here on the jaw. I want you to try and, to the best of your ability, squeeze the jaw. Okay. So, three, two, one. Squeeze the jaw. Just like so. Yes, just squeeze the jaw. Very good. Mm -hmm. And release. Good. Next, I'm going to put my hands here on your shoulders. I'm going to ask you to flex your shoulders like so, as if you were freezing cold and you're trying to get a bit warm, okay? So, just very awkwardly lift your shoulders as much as you can, okay? Very good. Now I'm going to put my hands here. I want you to push down on your shoulders, okay? So just push down on your shoulders. And I want you to resist it, so keep trying to lift your shoulders up as I push them down. Here we go. Two, one, and push them down. Resist. Resist. Very good. Please resist. Resist. Okay. Resist. And resist. Okay. Very good. <laughs> That's good. I know it's a bit funny to be, you know, moving your body in very interesting ways at a doctor's office, but what these do is they allow us to assess to see if your cranial nerves are working with your body and the way that we do that is to assess the entire body not just the parts that are affected so for you, you came in asking um, what to do about blurry vision, double vision, headaches and a bit of dizziness and that doesn't just mean it's your eyes it means it's your whole body that's why we assess the entire Moving on now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something called a neurological test. What that is, I'm going to pinch parts of your body and you let me know if you feel the pinch. Now, it's not going to be painful, but it's not like, you know, <laughs> like it's, it's a normal pinch. And I'll give you an example on my hand. Not a painful pinch, just a pinch of the skin. And I mostly do it around the face, and the shoulders, and then on the arms. Yes. So, first you're going to pinch right at the center of the eyebrow here. So, you let me know if you feel any pain, number one. Number two, you let me know if it affects your vision. If it's neither of that, we'll continue, and you don't need to respond saying yes or no. Just let me know if it's painful, or if it causes your eyes to defocus, okay? So, here we go. 
by starting at the eyebrow going to pinch release pinch release pinch release pinch release and pinch release very good to the other pinch release Double vision. Any pain on the eyebrows now? No. Okay. Now I'm going to just pinch underneath the cheek, right below the eyes. Here we go, starting from the center of the nose. Going to pinch right here. Release. Good. Pinch right here. Release. Pinch right here. Release. Pinch. side pinch release pinch release pinch release pinch release pinch release any double vision for revision okay so next we're going to move on right to the jawline so right here what I'm going to do is just pinch along the sides of the jawline so, right here, I'm going to pinch, release, pinch, release, good, pinch, release, pinch, release, pinch, release, good, pinch, release, pinch, pinch, release, pinch, release, any pain? any double vision, blurriness with the eyes, or lack of depth perception. Good. Now along the shoulders. Okay. Also, if I say pinch and you do not feel anything, let me know. Good. Typically, this is the part um, down the arms in particular where some people can actually lose the feeling so just let me know if that's the case, okay? Good. So right here on the collarbone, pinch and release. down the arms. First, give me this one. Thank you. What I'm going to do is first, the top of the arm is going to pinch, release, okay. pinch, release, pinch, pinch, and pinch, release. Okay. Other arm. Thank you. Here we go. Pinch, down. Neurologically speaking, you're fine. <laughs> Nothing there. That's of concern. Last but not least, I'm going to test your nose and then your ears, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to give you a very simple smell test and I want you to let me know if you can first uh, identify the smell. And second is if it causes you to experience more of a headache or blurry vision. So, we're going to start off with the fun colour that we assessed prior. And this is the colour red. Okay, so, if I remember correctly, yes. So, they have pretty bizarre smells, not related to the colour. Oh goodness. Okay. So I'm going to wave this just around the nose. Let me 
want you to let me know what exactly you smell, okay? Good, so no answers are wrong. Take any guess. First of all, can you tell me what it is the colour that you see? Okay. It's actually a baby pink. I know it can be particularly a different colour. It looks a bit like some sort of shade of red as well, but this is, yes, I know what this one's supposed to be. So, ah, oh, yes, okay. So, again, no answers are incorrect. Just take a guess as to what you think it could be related to, or what you smell, even what it reminds you of. So, here we go. Okay. Okay. And that is Okay. An earthy smell. It smells like a plant. What exactly does that remind you of? It's strong. You are going to say it is tea. Now I understand that. As that is the notes it has. It is actually patchouli, which is a flower, and I think you guessed very good. Now, now that you know it's patchouli, do you know what that smells like? Just want you to see if that even resembles anything that it reminds you of. Okay. Anything? Okay. Now, the next question is how are you feeling? Any double vision, blurry vision, headache? It's increasing a headache. Okay. I do apologize, but that is typically what odors can do. How's your brain right now? It's a bit overwhelmed. Okay. So, here is the next. Okay. So first, if you're able to see that color, can you identify it? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's like a royal blue. Reminds me of the colour of lapis lazuli. So, taking a look, trying to see what this is supposed to smell like. Yes, okay. So, first, let's just. Yes, indeed, that's a very good one. So, here we go. Any guess is correct. And what do you what do you smell exactly? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. A bit minty. Very good. 
And what about it? it? Smells exactly like a mint gum. And that is the perfect answer. This is spearmint. And it is really refreshing. A lot of people actually will get headache relief from the smell. It is menthol, pretty much, which is mint. <laughs> and spearmint is just a sweeter version of mint. You can actually smell that. Yeah, it's quite nice. Yes. I'm going to ask you now, how is the headache? It's the same. Okay. How are your eyes? Any blurry vision? Any double vision? How are you? Okay. Next one up is... Yes, indeed. Give this one a shake. There we go. So, are you able to identify this color? Okay. Yes. So, this is what it looks like. And it is green. Very good. I always forget what this one's supposed to be. Okay. This one's a bit unique. So, I think outside the box. Okay, yes. So, <laughs> just going to allow you to assess this. And what do you think that is? It's a bit bizarre. Smells like a cleaning solution, yes, that's correct. Interesting. And it doesn't irritate your nose at all. A bit. Okay, well, this one is actually a mixture of a cleaning solution and an aseptic. And it's to assess to see if you can identify the alcohols in it, which are quite strong. So, it actually does have a bit of lemon in it as well, yes. So, that's perfect. And... Another question is, how are you feeling? How's the headache? And how are the eyes? So, the smells were all good. Nothing affected here for the olfactory nerve. Last but not least, your ears. I'm first going to take a look in your ears. Then I'm going to use a tuning fork. And you have to let me know if the tuning fork is um, going to cause you to actually experience vertigo or to see if it actually causes more problems with your eyes. Have you noticed that if you've had an increase in headache that your eyes are focusing or working a bit harder? Yes, that can happen especially when I did see that you had a corneal and a corneal abrasion. So, just going to take a look into your ears, okay? Let me know if it bothers you at all. Just going to take a look. Okay. Nothing was wrong with that ear. I didn't see any inflammation. Are you having any problems hearing? Going on the next, so going to look into your ear. I didn't see anything in that ear either. Good. And now we're going to use the tuning fork. This one is in note D. And then we're going to use one in note C. Okay. What I want you to let me know is if you can hear it, number one. And I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. And I'm going to ask you which side you hear it on your left or your right. Then afterwards I'm going to ask you if this has affected your um, blurry vision at all or if it has caused vertigo. Good. So first, close your eyes. Good. And let's just take an exam.
Did you hear that? Okay, I don't know what side was it on. Okay. Could you hear that? Very faint. And what side was it on? Once more. switch it now to a C chord tuning fork. And here we go. Same exam, keep your eyes closed. And could you hear that? What side was it on? Would you say that this one is a bit more louder or less louder than the other? Okay, once more. And could you hear that? And the side was still. Okay, very good. Now you can open your eyes very slowly though. I'm going to ask you, are you experiencing more blurry vision? Perhaps some sort of vertigo? No. Okay. So what's happening is it's particularly in your eyes and you have something that needs to be repaired by an eye professional or a surgeon. I'm going to send you over to them now and they're going to quickly take a look into your eyes and care for you as soon as possible. I knew that there was something a bit more interesting that wasn't necessarily the nerves as your eyes were the only thing that experienced a problem. I'm going to write that down. I'm going to send a prescription for you to see the next eye specialist. Other than that, your health other than, other than that is very good. I see that you will have a very complete recovery very soon, in fact. <laughs> and I'm not kidding when I tell you that when the eye specialist sees you, you will be in and out of there in less than an hour, and you will feel amazing by tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> this is why we need doctors taking a look at you, especially when you're not feeling well. Yes. In any case, it was amazing to meet you. I'm actually going to ask you to come back in in a week. I'm going to look at your eyes again. I'm going to just quickly test your nerves to make sure that did not affect anything else other than your eyes. And I am Dr. Pluto. It was a pleasure meeting you today. I hope to see you in a very quick and speedy recovery, feeling 100% again, okay? Okay. Again, have an amazing day. And I will see you when you're feeling better. Okay. Pleasure was all mine. <laughs>